California is one of the most beautiful, wonderful. There is no state in the United States that's so beautiful, full of flowers. It has beaches, it has mountains. It's the most wonderful state. It's really the golden state. Uh, we started out when I became married with uh, practically nothing. And I was working for a pharmaceutical company as a bookkeeper. And uh, my husband went back to school in college. He wanted to become an optometrist. Well, it 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 couldn't happen. He had to get a job, apply for a job, and he applied for a job as in textile as a salesperson. And then we had a little boy, and by the name of Jeffrey, and um, he changed the company. He had gone with a different textile company where he had become a manager and then a an, um, top executive of the company. So we became quite well-to-do and comfortable and we had a beautiful home and uh, we had a second home in Coronado Island. We had a beautiful condominium in a high-rise that right now is so expensive. But we had a very good life. He had an extended family, his parents and sister and cousins and aunts and uncles, which I did not have a chance to enjoy of my own family because they all perished in the Holocaust, uh, in, during the Holocaust. And um, it was happy times. The children grew nice and the school system was wonderful. They were, all three schools were walking distance, elementary school, middle school, and high school. And both children had a happy childhood. They, they mm -hmm. Lisa and Uncle Jeffrey, who is now in uh, Oregon, and he's the father of four grown children already. We did take vacation. We had, um, we did go one year to Yosemite, which is the wonder, one of the seven wonders of the world. I met for me, I never seen a redwood tree so tall and so old. And there was one you could drive your car through, which that tree had to be cut down. Now I understand. But to me, this was absolutely beautiful. We went to the Big Sur in Monterey and Carmel, and we went a lot weekends to Las Vegas, and that was wonderful too. And uh, the first European trip we took was in 1967. And after that, we had gone to Hawaii, took the children. And that was wonderful too. Hawaii at that time in the 60s was wonderful. So we did travel, we did take vacation. We used to go to Laguna Beach. And my son, he used to love it to go to Laguna Beach. It was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. We did go to New York. I never did like New York. It was like an asphalt jungle to me. I never liked the high buildings covering up the the sunshine, people are in a hurry all the time, too many cars. There was nothing in New York that would uh, catch my fancy. I didn't see, the only part of New York I enjoyed was the Metropolitan Museum, the Guggenheim, the Whitney Museum. The art world in New York is great. I came here legally, like many of the Holocaust survivors came. I was very sick on the ship for three weeks. I lost, I, when I came to America, I was like 98 pounds. Mm -hmm. uh, very thin, yeah, because I lost, I couldn't eat. And um, the, the ship had to go back to England because they had to replace an engine. When I first came to America, 
what did I see? That there were many strange things. I what struck me strange is um, I saw a lot of signs that said "Love Jesus." Every street had that sign. Every whether they had a church or not, it was very much with religion. Uh, I I was very surprised at that because. I knew that religion and state is two separate things in the United States, but uh, it wasn't like that when you walked down any street in America. I was surprised to see what the buildings looked like. They were very simple. I miss the Statue of Liberty. That I, uh, for always, I'm sorry about that, that I missed it. But. Uh, my first view of America was, of course, the skyscrapers of New York, and that looked strange because it was so tall and narrow. But I never forget, from the ship, I saw uh, one of those little places that sells hot dogs. And I never forget, I didn't see the face of this man, but he was wearing a suit, and he was so tall by the European standards, men are short. But here in America, they're typically lanky Yankee, just like Gary Cooper. Tall and narrow legs with the pants, and he had one leg, one foot up on a holder, and he was eating a hot dog. That was my first um, picture of, the, of America.